Uh, good day there, it's Wayne Donnelly here, your hypnotist coming to see you very soon. I uh, just thought I'd give you a little bit more information about the sort of things people, the questions people ask about hypnosis. And one of the common ones, you may have even asked this yourself, is can I be hypnotized? And the answer is yes. Everyone can be hypnotized if they want to allow themselves to be hypnotized. Uh, if you cross your arms and say, you can't hypnotize me, well, my response is, well, not with an attitude like that. So how do you know if you can be hypnotized? What's well, a naturally occurring state? Uh, when we drift off, when someone's talking to us, uh, maybe you remember your teachers or parents talking and you drifted off to another space. That's sort of like going in a trance or when you go to bed at night and when you go to bed, you're not yet asleep, but you're no longer awake. You're sort of in that in-between zone. It's a bit like that or highway hypnosis if you're out in the road and you're so focused on the road that you don't remember everything you go past later on. So it's quite interesting. Now, how game are you to see how well you can focus? Because I want to demonstrate to you that this is all under your control. I'm just the navigator, whether we're doing some therapy or we're, whether we're doing, uh, doing a show, I'm just guiding it. You're allowing yourself to do it. You're game, you're up for it. It takes about 30 seconds and you'll see what a little bit of what it's like. You'll get a glimpse. So you're not going to be hypnotized. This is just a test on focus to see if you can allow yourself to go to the next stage, which I'll do when we get to the show or I'll see you in a workshop. So just for a moment, you ready? This is it. Just for a moment, close your eyes. And when you've closed your eyes, what I'd ask you to do, and make sure you're not driving, obviously. <laughs> okay, this is be at home. We've got nothing else around you. You can allow yourself a minute to do this exercise. So your eyes are closed. And just allow yourself to scan your body to see the most relaxed part of your body, where that is. Maybe it's your left foot or your right foot, left hand or your right hand, wherever it is, get in touch with it. And allow yourself to access this relaxation in such a way that you can draw upon it to bring that relaxation up into your eyes, your eyelids, and all the muscles around your eyes and your eyelids. And allow it to flow. Allow it to just, uh, that relaxation just to come into your eyes so that your eyes, you allow it, you allow it to happen, the relaxation come into your eyes, your eyelids and all the muscles around your eyes. And allow this relaxation to flow in such a way that your eyes and eyelids can become heavy with relaxation. Just get in touch with that. Just imagine that your eyes are so relaxed that they get so relaxed, they get to a point where you can't even open them. So just allow yourself to go to that place where your eyes become so heavy with relaxation that you can't even open them and continue to focus on this relaxation. And while you're focused on this relaxation, only when you know that you can't open them, and you're this relaxed, test it. And what you'll find is if you've done this right, if you're testing your eyes while you're focused on relaxation, you can't open your eyes. Okay, you can stop testing and just allow yourself to come back. Now, if, if your eyes stay closed, you're really focused because you're focused on relaxation. If you opened your eyes, you just weren't focused enough on the relaxation. With practice, you'll be able to do it easily. Anyway, if you've got any questions, shoot them to me on uh, Facebook as a direct message or private message, and I'll answer them for you. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you at one of the shows or workshops. Have a terrific day.